Hi guys, it's Amy with Feel Better With Yoga. And today I want to bring you several different breathing exercises that you can do that are really helpful for anxiety, uh, stress, insomnia, all those things that we're feeling we always do in regular life, but especially now during the coronavirus. Some little ways that we can, throughout the day, no matter where we are, stop and practice them, even for a minute. Okay, so if you want to write them down, um, the first one is slow, deep breathing. And I'll go through each one of those after I tell you all of them. Um, second one is extended exhale. The third one is alternate nostril breathing. The fourth one is left nostril breathing. And the last one, buzzing bee breath. Okay? So you can practice these along with me as often as you need, but the goal is not to sit and practice them with me every day, but to know them on your own so that you can pick the one you like the best and you can use it wherever you are, any time of the day. Okay, the first one, slow, deep breathing. This is exactly what it sounds like. We're going to deepen and slow our breaths. And one way we can do that even more effectively is by making that ocean sounding breath. Or I like to think of it, it sounds like Darth Vader, really. Um, and what we're doing is constricting our airway ever so slightly. And what that does, it's kind of like pinching a hose. The water comes out less. The same amount of water takes longer to get through the hose and come out than if the hose were open. So by constricting the throat, we deepen and slow the breath. And what that does, it actually stimulates our vagal nerve to pull us out of the sympathetic nervous system and into the parasympathetic nervous system. What does that mean? Pulls us out of fight or flight, the anxiety and, and stress mode, and puts us back into the rest and digest place that we're supposed to be in more often. Okay? So, Think of Darth Vader. I, I know you did it as a kid. I did. Me and my brother did. Okay. So, breathe in. Breathe out. If it helps to practice it with your mouth open, do that at first and then you can go to closing your mouth. One more breath. So you see it makes that sound, but that's not through my nose, that's actually by slightly constricting the throat. And the best way I can explain it always is Darth Vader. That makes most people understand it a little bit better. Okay, second one, extended exhale. So if you think of your breath normally being a ratio of one to one or two to two, Whatever the count is, whatever the inhale is, the exhale is the same. An extended exhale, we're going to double that. So however long your inhale is, we're going to exhale double that. So if you inhale to a count of two, we will exhale to the count of four. You can do one to two, two to four, three to six. The longest uh, to recommend is four to eight, and that's, that's hard to do. Um, I wouldn't do any more than that. So let's practice with just a two to four, okay? And I won't speak, I'm just gonna hold up fingers and you do it along with me. Ready? Inhale. Okay, you get the picture. So that's something to practice on your own. See if that works for you, if you like doing that one. Third one is alternate nostril breathing. Let me explain this to you a little bit so you understand why it works. And it's not just hooky lao, as I think my grandmother, or maybe my dad used to say. Um, so we know that the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body, and the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body, right? And so the best example is if you, if someone has a stroke and has residual from that stroke, 
if the stroke is in the left side of the brain, it affects the right side of the body. So if you see someone with right-sided facial droop or right-sided arm weakness, right-sided leg changes, it came from the left side of the brain. By the same token, right-sided stroke affects the left side of the body. So we know that. So the other thing we know is that the left side of our brain is the more analytical, thinking, problem-solving side of our brain. It's the brain that keeps us up at night, going over lists and trying to figure things out, and trying to overthinking, worrying. The right side of our brain is the more creative, artistic, and even emotional side. We can get stuck in one or the other. With anxiety and stress, we tend to be in the left side. The left side of the brain is in overdrive, trying to figure things out, ruminating and looping. So breathing through one nostril at a time equally activates each side of the brain by itself, which brings everything to better balance. Um, okay, so let's try that. And the way we're going to do it is by plugging one side of the nose, then we unplug it, plug the other side. There are lots of fancy hand holds to, to do on your face. I pick my dominant hand and I just use my thumb and my forefinger. And I'm going to sound really nasal while I do this. Forgive me. So whichever hand, plug the right nostril. We're going to breathe in through the left. Breathe out through the left. Breathe in left again. Plug left, open right. Exhale right. Breathe in right. Plug it, exhale left. Breathe in left. Plug it, exhale right. Breathe in right. Plug it, exhale left. Inhale left. Plug it, exhale right. Inhale right. Plug it, exhale left. Inhale left. Plug it, exhale right. One more round. Inhale right. Plug it, exhale left. And now just keep breathing in and out through only the left nostril. So just plug the right and breathe in and out. Keep doing that. You can close your eyes and I'll keep talking as you do this. And yes, it makes your nose very runny, which is actually good. It gets everything flowing. Uh, in doing this, in breathing only through the left nostril, we are activating solely the right side of the brain. And we're giving the left-sided brain, which is thinking so hard and ruminating and overthinking, we're giving it a break. We're telling it to settle down. And the right brain is saying, I got it, I got it. Let's, I'll do this for you for a while. And as someone who has, for my whole life, suffered from, from a lot of, I have an anxiety disorder and I've suffered through a lot of insomnia. This is one that I've practiced and this is, that's what finally got me to believe it, is that it worked on me to settle my brain down so that I could fall asleep at night. Okay, take one more breath in through the left. Exhale through the left. Okay, rub your nose, big sniff. And that's all of that one. Left-sided nostril, I would do maybe 10 cycles of breath, maybe up to 20, no more than that, 10 to 20. It's a nice, quick one to do wherever you are at work. Nobody has to really notice that you're doing it, and it, it just it helps you settle just a little bit more. Last one is probably my favorite, although you probably, you probably won't do this in front of other people, although you can. Um, buzzing bee breath. Okay, so this one, it, it's just humming. So we'll breathe in, and as we exhale, we're going to pick a note, doesn't have to be a, nice, a good one, and hum for the extent of the exhale. And one thing that makes it even better is if you plug your ears and close your eyes, and it makes that buzzing sound even greater, and it blocks out outer stimuli. Okay, so take a breath in, and you're gonna hear me do it. I can't hear you, but you get to hear me. And I'm not a singer. Ready? Inhale. Exhale, hum. Mm -hmm. Again. Ex finish exhaling. Inhale. Mm -hmm. 
do one more. Close your ears and eyes. Mm. Okay, let all that down. That one really, it's almost like going underwater or like a sensory deprivation tank. <laughs> this is one I do. Ha! Huh. My family may hear this. Um, in quarantine with all of us in the house, or into my closet, or even in the same room with them, and hum quietly, but I close my ears and eyes. And it's like being alone for a minute. I can't hear everybody else's voice. That's my secret. Um, so any one of those, slow, deep breathing, the Darth Vader voice, extended exhale, alternate nostril breathing, left sided, left nostril breathing, or the buzzing bee breath to be helpful for calming anxiety, de-stressing just a little bit um, before you go back out into everything, all the chaos that we're living right now. So give it a shot, see what you think, and then you don't have to watch me anymore. Then you get to do it on your own, whatever you are. Okay. Thank you for all that you're doing right now uh, for the coronavirus to stop the spread and for everyone out there helping the rest of us, healthcare workers, grocery store, stockers, truck drivers, everyone, thank you. So, see you later. Bye. Stay safe.